In this video, I'm going to show you the Media Downloads custom page in AppPressor, which allows you to create a playlist of audio or video that can be downloaded for offline use in your app. So this works great for uh, if you have a playlist of, say, podcasts or sermons or, uh, you know, if it's a band and you have, you know, albums and you want people to be able to play those and then also be able to download them offline. So you can use it kind of like Spotify or iTunes. Um, so let me show you how this works. The first thing you're going to do is in your app customizer, go to custom pages. And then we're going to go to add a new page and we're going to click on media downloads. So this is going to give this a title. It's asking for an API route and that can be the full URL to any WP API endpoint where your media URLs are. So that would be a, uh, a list of posts or custom post types that have the media URL in their post meta. So let me show you what that looks like. If I go to my website and let's say that I'm going to put all of my uh, sermons or podcasts or uh, media, whatever it is, I'm gonna put it in a certain category. So I created a category called sermons and it is, I, if I hover over ID, um, I can get the ID of that. So if you see, if you look at the very bottom of my screen, you'll see that there's, it says tag ID equals 240 in this really long URL. Um, you can also just click on edit and it will show this in your address bar. Um, so I know that that is an ID of 240. So what I can do is put in the URL to my site. Now uh, you can look this up in our instructions, but this is basically just the normal, your website URL plus wp-json wpv2 is just the, uh, that's the same every time. And then what I'm gonna do is go to posts and then categories equals 240. And that is how you put in, uh, that's gonna show only the post with the category of 240. Um, now to figure out how to use these URL parameters and more, uh, we have a link in our documentation to the WP API documentation on wordpress.org that explains this in more detail. But basically that is going to pull in those posts. Now what I need to do is either go to my existing posts or, uh, or create a new one and make sure that I add it to this category, which would be sermons. And then if you look at the uh, bottom of this post, you're gonna see there is an app presser media URL field. And that's where you're gonna put in the full URL to your uh, media. So that could be a MP4 or an MP3 or an MOV file, whatever it is. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I would go into my media library and add that. <clears throat> In this case, I have a I have just kind of a test MP3 file I'm going to use, but this could be a, you know, like I said, an MP4 file or whatever it is. Let me make that HTTPS, and then I'm going to publish that. So I'm going to do one more just so that we can see more than one post when we're testing this, and I'm going to go to give it a category of sermons. And then I'm gonna see if I can find a video that I can upload. So here we go. Here is an MOV file that I can upload and I'm going to copy that URL and put it in here. Publish it. So now if we look on the front end, uh, this is just a normal post. It doesn't actually show the video because that's only going to show up in our app because it's only in post meta. So um, <clears throat> if you need to do this programmatically because you're using a certain plugin that already has a meta field, I will uh, show you how to do that. That's in our documentation. I'll go over that in just a minute. So now that we have a couple of posts and we have our API endpoint, we are going to allow, click Allow Downloads. You have a couple of options here. If you want to change the name of the left icon or the right icon, uh, you can change those here to uh, Ion Icons Name. Uh, so you would look that up in our documentation. 
then we have a little help link right here and we have a download link it's called download that all looks good so I'm going to save that then I'm going to go add this to our menu downloads I'm going to give it an icon class of download save it And if I click on that, you'll see that we have this download page here. Now, if I were to click on play, you'll see that it opens up our media player and then that will actually play the audio or the video. And then if they were to click on the download link here, it's not gonna work because I'm not in a device, but it would uh, download to the device and then it would show up in this list here when I click on downloaded. Uh, so that is the media download list, which is a pretty cool feature. And uh, so you can kind of see how it's done. Now the other thing would be if you already had an existing plugin, uh, let's say you're using a certain podcast plugin or you know sermon plugin or, or media plugin, whatever it is, and it already has a post type uh, that it's adding for you and it already has uh, the video in post meta so what you can do is you can actually just programmatically copy the existing post meta to our post meta and we have code for you if you look up at docs.atpressor.com and you go to media download you list audio video downloads and you scroll to the bottom you'll see that we actually have some code here for you and all you have to do is change the post meta key and uh, make sure that you use the correct post type and you would just put this code into a plugin file and run it once because all it's going to do is just copy the existing post meta field over to our post meta field uh, it basically creates a duplicate so that we can use it in the app and you do not need to leave this code active it will it only needs to run once so that it updates all of your existing post meta and if you need more help with this setup, you can look in our documentation. And that's it for this video.